basically this is that lock spring so this is the uh, the cylinder and what you're doing when you turn the screw is this little C clip it just rotates so right now it's in the unlock position so I'm just going to turn it in There's one turn two three And it's caught on video too. Yes. Oh, it's, I'm still recording. Holy crap, I forgot about this. I nearly took out my co-worker's um, eyeball. So I gotta rotate this back. See, and this is why I don't go into detail when I'm, uh, when I'm recording, when I'm working, because it interferes. So this piece here is supposed to sit in here. That rhymes. And this. Or is enough light for you guys so this is supposed to sit down like this and that's why you pull the handle out the uh, c-clip what the c-clip does it, it it holds the uh, it holds this piece in place and what, what happened was that when I when I tighten it in to lock the cylinder in, this piece came loose and then it went flying. So you gotta make sure to hold your finger here. So anyways, I'm just gonna go to the stop position. So the screw is all the way stopped now. And uh, you can see the C-clip, it's holding the cylinder. The cylinder is being held by the C-clip. So same thing again, just pretend like you're pulling the handle, that's what I'm doing here. You pull the handle forward, away from the car, and then you turn the adjusting screw. And it's binding right now. I don't want to force it. Again, this is all because I'm not usually talking when working. clip was binding down here okay you see it now it's rotating and I'm holding that uh, lever down here and you can see once I let loose that lock ring is holding it see I can let go of my finger the lock ring is holding it and I can slide the cylinder out Okay, I'm, I don't have time to show you guys in nice format. Hopefully the video glasses showed it enough. I'm working. I record while I work. You can hear the boss in the background. So if I take too long, that's, that becomes an issue. Thanks for watching.